Welcome to episode 14 of The World Is Absolutely Fucked. This is the final episode of the four hour drinking, uh, it's only a bottle of wine each, but the drinking episode with David and uh, we are near the end of caring. But it was fun and since then, uh, David has been nominated for Ability Award nomination thing. I've said that. Nominated for Ability. You know what I mean. That's how it works. He's been nominated. He's, he's been nominated for a thing. A big thing. It's good. It's really good. It's really amazing. And uh, But this is the final episode of the drinking episodes. And we talk about more quiz mad shit. And James Joyce and his weird little fart fetish. Enjoy. I just came back from a gig uh, there was free wine I'm done enjoy how did 61 year old Spanish man burn his genitalia paella paella I'm not sure it's a paella that's what it looked like A he accidentally sat on an iron B on the on the hot bit of an iron sat yeah. on it yeah I, I know someone that did that what sat on an iron yeah. On the metal bit of an iron. Yes, my auntie. The bit that goes down. The, or up. Depends on how you, you, you manoeuvre it. <laughs> she my did auntie. that on purpose. My aunt, no, here's what happens, right? Uh, I love her. She's fucking amazing. My godmother. And she's hilarious. My, always a mad story. Like, we're now... Uh, there's a story i never forget. We're somewhere having dinner. And, and I've done this before, but I've not done it in the same reaction. She picked up what she thought was an onion ring. But it was calamari. She put it in her mouth, made a, and just went, bleh, and left all out of her oh. mouth. It's like, what the fuck was that? I go, oh, it's, 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 it's a squid. Uh, and she told me the story. She goes, oh, me fucking, me arses and bits, I have to sit in a pillow. I goes, why? She goes, oh, I sat in an iron. I goes, what? She goes, yeah, we were on holidays <clears throat> in Benny Dorm, and, uh, and she was ironing on the bed, and she put the iron there, oh, and then man. went to get something, forgot okay. about it. And she sat on the iron, and I went whoop, and it oh, burned. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I understand now. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. It possible. is possible. Lightning hit them. It's also possible. Well, they'd have to be pretty big. I mean, you, have to or you just have to have them out. Well, it's not like lightning hits the tallest thing around. So if he was like lying down with his. Well, you could be on the top of the stairs. Lying down, having a little wank on a hill. Yeah, just lifting up the testicle. Maybe, yeah. Or he made love to an air fryer. They really do a lot of handy things. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, such draw everywhere. Mm. Oh, what do you reckon? This is a tough one. It is a tough one. Now, people would fuck a fridge. What's that? People will fuck anything. Yeah. Bus seats. Bus seats, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> headless sex dolls. Headless yeah. sex dolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back know. tubs, hands. Camilla. Yeah. I don't like, I don't even People think she's getting fuck fucked. Anything. anything. Would uh, they fuck an air fryer? Would they fuck an air fryer? If they can find the hole. Well, there's a lot of little holes for the oil. Well, uh, yeah, but you'd have to, you know I mean? You'd have to be unnaturally small. And that's not, that's, that's so much below micro penis. Yeah. To fuck one of those little holes on an air fryer. Do you know what I mean? That would yeah. be insane. So that's, so, okay. I think I'm going to strike out air fryer. Okay, unless you fuck the handle, but yeah, okay. Unless you fuck the handle, but that's different. not going to burn you because that's the bit you're supposed that's to bit, touch. <laughs> that's the bit, yeah, that's so the bit. So if the handle touch. is burning you, the air fryer could be broken. Yeah, and also on fire. sixty-one year old people don't have air fryers. Yeah, true. They still, they still boil, boil. Yeah. They, they still poach it. Yeah, it's gonna boil a chicken. Uh, lightning hit them. Like I said, he'd have to be up high on a hill with his dick out. Yeah. And his dick would have to be the tallest part of his body at the time, I think. So he's doing a weird sort of yoga so he's pose. Doing a weird yoga pose, yeah. possibly having yeah. a little a little you know, a little fantasy thought there yeah. while Just he's having up on a little the hill. bit of uh, like maybe maybe he's cupping. Maybe he's maybe cupping. He's, he's cupping maybe a bit he's, of he's, uh, water in his Maybe he's urine. measuring. What's that thing called? A chaps a little fella's eye? The little the little uh, the lips on the willy, the lips and he could have water in there and he's lying there and what he's just mean? You water know, in there do you know the lips on the willy yeah I know what you mean yeah so he just opened it a bit and puts a bit of water in and he's lying and he's back. lying there like this is like, oh this is lovely this is for the god yeah this is lovely watch me sport it what you mean he can just put water in there and then push it out so it comes out in a little fountain yeah anyone can no they can what 
do you mean? No, they can. Of course they can. You can't just put water in the, the hole on your dick and then spout it out like a fountain. What you should do, right? When Tim is asleep, put lipstick on the lips in your willy and then kiss him on the head. <laughs> and then you wake up, willy. And I'll be like, the borrowers have the been... The borrowers, yeah. The borrowers like... have been in Arietti. Yeah, been in... Tinkerbell has been around. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, uh... Alan. <laughs> I think he sat on an iron. Oh, of course. Oh, this is fun. The stupid whore. <laughs> that was my auntie. No, oh, sorry. I meant this guy. <laughs> Uh, he bored his balls by a lightning strike. Cool. <laughs> Man has Might genitals just, bored. I just fucking finish this. <laughs> and was that the lightning that hit him? Nah, they didn't capture it at the time. Oh, that's, I think that's a, a stock image, yeah. From real press. When it's Cameron through again. <laughs> he's a fucking... <laughs> he's prolific. He's some job. Doesn't he no, going around just making up what, stories? Cameron, pack it in. Yeah. Man has genitals burned in. Like, is that all? Is that all the context I'm getting? I had to be what, more. What was he doing? <laughs> Google it. Let's Google. It. Oh. You Google. It. <laughs> Maybe I should Google Cameron Fru. Yeah. Find out what his story is. Uh, new story. Next question. Right, go for it. What happened when Lucy Carrington claimed that her dog was a vegetarian? The dog died. A. A better face off. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> it chose meat over veggie in a test. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or the this. dog interrupted her and said, actually, I'm vegan and gluten intolerant too, and then vaped. <laughs> a, B, or C. I know this one. Yeah? It's B. Why? She was like, the dog does, dogs can manage on a vegan diet. Yeah. what she said. She was like, dogs can be perfectly happy as vegetarians. And my dog actually prefers it. Mm. He prefers it to me. So let's test him because she's a big I am. But Lucy Carrington, well, she she's got a... egg on her face. Oh, and she doesn't even eat egg. She would have hated that. Yeah. She got vegan. She got tofu on her face. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Woman who insisted her dog was vegetarian proved wrong in seconds on live TV. Beautiful. And here is the clip. I look where they all are, they? Oh, it's Ruth and Eamon Holmes. Not anymore. Well, they've gone now, haven't they? Well, they've separated. Have they? Yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a love machine. Oh, is he cheating on her? I don't know, dear. Yes. I didn't swear. Oh, oh <laughs> and there is oh, no. natural oh, selection. Oh, no. oh, she's checking it out. Hmm. Well, in fairness, the weather has cooled down. <laughs> <laughs> and then it eats the meat, and she's like, yeah, well, of course the dog's going to eat the meat, because it's me. I was like, well, that goes against everything you said, you mad bitch. Next one. Love that. What happened after Nevin Giganovich's nose job went wrong? A. He was left with a permanent erection. Whoa, wow. <laughs> B. He could only walk sideways from then on. Or C. Mm. The doctors accidentally stuck a toe where his nose should be. Well, this is a strange one. They're all strange. Because the, the world first is one, fucked. You, I heard radio. It and I'm like that. No. And now when they're all out, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Must be. Because the world he is fucked. He was left with a permanent erection. You reckon? Yeah. I do. How, how would that happen? I don't know. Somebody must have showed him my picture. <laughs> they, and then, I don't know. Because maybe like there's some sort of weird nerve that goes from the nose to the dick or something. I don't know. Yeah. Possible. Or maybe he was just fucking... Like, it went wrong because it went so right. Yeah. That every time he looked at his own nose, mm. he was like, he was, oh my I'm God, into this. that is so hot. I have a nose fetish. Yeah. Or, do his... you know when they, they, they say, if you pull a face and the wind changes, your face stays like that? Yeah. So uh, the, some doctor tickled his bollocks and then the at wind the went the other way. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, this is how it is now. That's exactly what happened. Well, that's exactly what happened. Here they is. Look at that. There's a moustache. And there's solid eyebrows as well. Man stuck with he's permanent had far erection. Too much surgery done. Yeah, there's face. a lot of shit going on there. Mm. Uh, and he's got little lip uh, stick things like that. You're going to do. Oh, he's him. got them, and they're all in different directions, which yeah. is also off putting in a different way. It's like where, where, where are you? You're upside he's all, down. He's got. I think he's got pectoral implants there. Yeah, as well. that's pe that's that's put in there. Yeah, and here is uh, the image. <laughs> nah. 
And you see the little Jordans on his under his pecs. That's what the doctor did uh, to say. This is where the those tattoos goes. are hideous. This, like I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm 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 not judging people with tattoos. Tattoos can be really cool, and nice. Those his like there. I cannot see a tattoo on him. Has he got a sexy Jesus? He does have a sexy Jesus. Is it is it a Jesus pulling down his pants? Well, because he's clearly a homosexual. Oh, I don't judge. No, what's twenty four mean? I'm, is that is that a homosexual term? Thirty four. Yeah. Not it's like a 69, but <laughs> with bits missing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he doesn't look like he's distressed at all by having a permanent erection, does he? He seems happy, but he's getting publicity on this podcast that you can get on iHeartRadio and YouTube and Spotify and all of those places right. where you get your podcast. For more on Apple. permanent erections. <laughs> yeah, just get your nose fucking smashed in. Yeah. How that. did a man in Peru find out that his wife was cheating on him? Mm. A... He had a microchip. <laughs> <laughs> B, uh, Google Maps. Uh, or C, she had heat rash from a 61-year-old Spanish fella, oh, A, B, or C. Well, I'm pretty sure. You hate the callbacks, don't you? I don't hate them. <laughs> You're like, oh, for fuck's sake. I don't hate them. I imagine that... It goes, it goes well at quizzes. It goes, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, then I thought that might sound bad. No, but it, I it's, don't hate them. It's, I it's get, the I, laugh. I get when you're putting it, this up in front of a, a room of people. They're like, drinking. Oh, of course. Oh. Yeah. yeah like, oh, How silly. Callbacks. But I just like it. I like taking the piss out of them because I can see what you're. I can see. I can see your thinking. Yeah. It doesn't. It's not that hard to see what I'm thinking. No. Very easy. Yeah. I'm a simple. <laughs> I'm a simple mind. Simple mind. Major. All the '80s bands. Google Maps. I reckon he saw her leaving some Lothario's house. Well, on Google you say Maps. House. Not shack. <gasps> Park bench. Husband uncovers wife as having an affair after spotting her on Google Maps. And this is by Julia well, Bannum. And I love how she uses caps before every word. But is that necessarily an affair? I mean, that could be a friend. Could be someone that had a heart attack. She could be helping that yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. And why she got no face? Life. And what happened to her face? Her yeah. face has melted like the poo. Good question. Yeah. Let me see the face, man. So wife is having an That's affair. That's the weirdest way to lie down on a bench as well, isn't it? He's nearly upside I down. Know as well. Also, if you're going to have an affair, don't do this. Don't sit on a bench with your, your head in the lap. No. And look at her I hands. Mean, he's facing the wrong way. He's, he's facing the wrong way. He's, he's not getting the, down. He's not getting the muff. He's getting nowhere near the clip. No, he's not. He's like, I don't know how to do this. Do it with the back of the head. Front <laughs> of the head. And her hands are like this. What the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Torn over. Which is also a type of bread. <laughs> but not French bread. No. Uh, and then, yeah, that's it. And uh, I think this is the final one. We can go another little round of mad stuff if you want. But here right. we go. Might as well. Yeah. We're what, all here. This is four episodes, I think. This is great. What was a Mexican nah, granny's... Nah, that first two hours, you oh, will be what you... God, yeah. I know the stuff we can definitely use, I think. What was a Mexican granny's... I have to listen to it all again. That's the fucking You'll enjoy part. that. I know. What, what was it a... mean the worst part? That's the best I know, part. I know, I know, I know. What was a Mexican granny's dying wish? A, that the 61-year-old Spanish man uh, would be buried alive with her. Absolutely. B, to be crucified like Jesus, Christ, not the other ones. Oh. Or to have a giant penis statue on her grave. A, B, or C. <laughs> What could it be? The world is fucking uh... I want a giant penis statue. On well, my you view. will get one. Honestly, that's what I want. Everybody, I want that, and I want the Biker Grove theme tune to play as they cremate my corpse and they on a pyre well, in the middle of a street. And drop uh, sausage roll crumbs on sausage there. roll crumbs all over the place. Yeah. Uh, I think now some Mexican people. Now I I know some Mexican. I know a couple of Mexican people, and some Mexican people are very religious. Are they very religious? Um, to the extent so, that. So I think I think I'm gonna shock everybody here. I'm shocked already by saying I think she wanted to be crucified like Christ, like Jesus, like. Up there hanging around. Yes, like, that Christ, yes. That fucking, not baby that Jesus. That Christ. <clears throat> not the baby Christ. No, you couldn't crucify a baby Christ. No, it's too soon. Mm. Well, you'll be The in, world isn't ready. The world isn't ready for that. No. Uh, he needs a beard, baby Jesus. I agree. I've always said that about baby Jesus. He's too young. He looks too young. I, think, like, I, I mean, can't take him serious. I love in all the paintings where they're trying to make baby Jesus look wise. You know those paintings where they're like, baby Jesus is sitting there and he's like... 
Ah, I know everything. You're a and fucking like, baby, born in a barn. You don't know fucking. Yeah, shit. you don't have a house. You don't, don't even know who your dad is. <laughs> right, you've no idea who you are. Yeah. Where the fuck? Where's the wisdom coming from? Yeah, take Throw your frankincense. Yeah. Take your myrrh take and your, your gold and fuck fucking off. shove it. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't say that. Come back, I? come back when you have a beard. Yeah, you know, that's the mad thing. He was a baby, and then no one knew what happened. Then he was. A man with a beard. Then he was thirty. What did he yeah. go on an OE? Did he go to Spain? Did he go no, work he in Australia? No, he was just like learning how to be a carpenter. That's a fuck. Yeah, do you know what? In fairness, that's a story that Paul would tell. I have to. So <laughs> he would go like everyone. Would go, it was a baby Jesus. A lot of shit happened. Then he came back as the Messiah with a beard and long hair like a hippie. Yeah. Paul would go. So Jesus, he was learning to be a carpenter. And when you're being a carpenter, you have to get wood and you have to get the tools. That's and I what inspired know. him to wear a white robe. What? That's what inspired him to wear a white robe. What? I don't know. <laughs> Coming from his childhood. I don't know. Why would he wear white? Is he a pacifist? No, he was... Wasn't he shagging Mary Magdalene? Isn't that the whole basis right, of yeah. the Dan <clears throat> she was a, book? She, she, was a, she was a lady prostitute lady, sexy walker. Yeah. So uh, was he getting it for free? I mean, I hope not. Uh, was that your friend? That was my son. Yeah. So and... Nice. They always talk about waiting for the second coming. Did she only get it once? I don't think she got it at all. No. Not at all. Like Mary. Well, we don't know anything. This is the thing. <clears throat> we don't know anything about the sex lives of Mary and Joseph going up, going forward, do we? Because it's not the world we live in now with OnlyFans and stuff like that, where people are, I can make money from sex. She would keep all that secret. I reckon she's she like, went to a nightclub or some sort of cave. Oh, and, she's like, and then... Still a virgin. Yeah. Oh, it didn't happen. Oh, still a virgin. Oh, that's, that's not my baby. Oh, I've never done this before. Oh, and my hymen she's is like still deep there. Ten inches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the spastic eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> You're really good with your hands, Mary. Yeah, oh, I must just be naturally talented. I'm just all I'm over it. My God, I guess. Yeah, that's a touch of God. That's, a, that's heresy, what we've just done. Uh, I'm not religious, so I couldn't give a fuck. If anything, I hate religion. So. I'm not even baptised. Are you not? So I'm, I was already going to hell. I was. So I can do whatever I want now. Yeah. That's, that's Catholicism. Yeah. Because I, I'm already going to hell, so it doesn't matter what I do anymore. I'm going to hell in any way. Yeah. It's, we're it's, all going We're all going to hell I was We're told, all going I told you I was told by the The religious lads That I used to work with In the Cash and Curry They called me Al-Qaeda Because everyone called me Al mm. And they were like Yeah you are Al-Qaeda uh, You are you are the devil They just thought And I looked like I had oh. a schmig beard It's like, oh. I know I know I know uh, So oh, I know I know, I know. <laughs> uh, How many I, years ago was this? Last year, no, oh. uh, it was when uh, <laughs> sort of, I don't know, tw 15 years ago, 16 years ago, but yeah, it was when that it was all the rage. But I looked like the pictures. We went back to my parents' house and uh, I was showing her some pictures, and I'm like, There's me in a fucking turtleneck and a leather coat that's too big for me, and a fucking schmeg beard. Gross, yeah, it was rotten, Gross. absolutely rotten. And I did look like the devil, and any religious person that I ever worked with were like, You're evil. I'm not. Yeah. Well, go fuck yourself. Well, Maybe I am. It's all relative, isn't it? There's no such thing as evil. No. There's no such thing as uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but this lady, for some reason anyway, she wanted to be crucified like Christ, I think. Of course she did. Look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good for her. I've misjudged her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if, here's the thing. If you had seen her face before this full image, you would have went... Like she wants to be crucified. She wants to yeah, no, but then I would you have see said the she tombstone. Wants no, but if you had seen a face without the tombstone, I love that they've used a different color of stone for the balls. Yeah, attention is in the detail, that and I love stunning. that the cross just looks like a mistake. See the little cross on the? Oh yeah, uh, it's like oh, we just put that in. All yeah, the detail yeah. in the penis with veins and whatever that back extra triple it's, bit it's is. It's a bit pockmarked though, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's not usual. Well, if it's that size, I'm sure it would be. If you were to get a, a, a telescope onto your wad, I'm sure you'd find a couple of holes that shouldn't be there. No, I wouldn't. I moisturise. Perfectly smooth. Smooth. I thought you were going to say smooth like a baby's bum, but that's the wrong fucking that sentence. That would be the wrong yeah. sentence. Yeah. And that's just the baby Jesus bum. So Granny's dying wish was a giant penis on her tombstone. Doesn't and look so big to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at her. She, that's why she's smiling. She's sitting on it. <laughs> oh, 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 she could have gone bigger, I think. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's dead now, so. Not well. 
Right. Rest in peace. Here's one more round. Okay. A bit of silly bollocks. Right. It's literature. Oh. So Adam Levine uh-huh. sent a load of weird messages to people. And <clears throat> James Joyce is a literary giant. I know. You know. Of course, you're an intelligent person. Right. So the following quotes you have to tell me. Is it Adam Levine or is it James Joyce? Yeah. How easy does that seem? Not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number one. Watching your ass jiggle on that table will permanently scar me. <sighs> <laughs> Heavy breathing. Adam Levine. You reckon? Why? Oh, because he's a... He's a card, isn't he? He's a fucking prick. Aye. Did you ever see him on The Voice, America? I can't stand him. I can't stand him. I don't, I, I don't find him... I've never liked Maroon 5. Same. I don't get it. Never liked them. Ne- I never liked them. Oh, I, yeah. I just don't get it. Fuck off. I feel that way about quite a lot of the musicians, actually, in bands and stuff. When I start taking the meds... For some reason, a lot of things start to make sense, and I can understand things like mm. DIY. There's a whole we knocked because the whole. You should be taking the meds. I know, probably I know, yeah. That is. And then I'm like, oh, I get it. So like Jordan lockdown, there was a we <coughs> we smashed a hole in the wall, the banister. I think I told you that because we wanted to pull the whole banister down and make it different. Uh, and I smashed the hole uh, to make me do it. And then Jane covered it with a painting. Then we forgot about it. And then there was a massive hole there for ages. And every time I looked at it, I didn't know how to fix it. Then I started taking meds. And one day, it was like all this fucking mats went on in my head. And I went, plywood, hammer, nails, plaster, boom. Bunnings, bar, it came back, did it. I was like, whoa, the fuck just happened there? Amazing. It was was weird, right? What was the point of that story? I don't know. So, oh yeah. Oh, music. So like all of us, now now I can hear I could never understand music and now I can hear songs and I can break down bits and I go oh that's the piano and that's the this and that and that and that oh I get how they do that whereas before it was just noise and but the main thing is that I've I've listened to Ed Sheeran songs and I really oh, fucking I hate them. I knew there was only a matter of time before we talked about Ed Sheeran. We haven't talked about Ed. Oh, we did last time. Oh, yeah. did we? Yeah, when you took a picture with a uh, thing. Oh, that's Johnny right. Depp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, I listened to the songs and uh, they infuriated me, and I can't even describe it. I like, I've never gotten so angry over a song. But I was sitting there going, "This is how, this is like my ears like, are getting this is like fucking crazy fingered." Frog. Yeah. This is how bad it is. This is how fucking bad it is. Let yeah, me tell you the story. I went to uh, to Wellington to do a gig, and I was hosting that, and I I was staying with Patch, mm-hmm. and Patch, lovely mm-hmm. Patch, and I went. Uh, so I Patch goes, "I'll pick you up from the airport, bring you to the house, lovely." Went to the house, uh, his kid, this lovely little kid was running around going mad. And I never heard the song Baby Shark before. And his kid came up to me and he goes, uh, yeah, so he goes, uh, uh, baby shark, da, 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 da. I was like, the patch, what is this what noise? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what? And it was the neighbours were driving you, up and down the driveway. You tell them, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? It's got, and the, the neighbours driving up and down the driveway in, qu- in quads. <sighs> Baby shark, da, 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 all that, and I goes to, and then uh, I goes, what's that song? And Patch goes, Baby Shark, and then he started singing it, and then I went, what's going on? And then I said to him, I goes, where am I? St- where's my room? I just put my stuff in the room, and he goes, oh no, you're sleeping on the sofa, and I went, so they were singing Baby Shark to me, and I just went on Booking.com. Did you there and then? There and then. I couldn't do it. I, I told it my face can't hide. And I and love the idea that you're like, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was it. I goes, I goes, can you drop us off in the city? And he said, oh, the gig isn't until seven o'clock. I goes, I'm not staying here. I'm not staying here. Wow. Yeah. I, this is, How did I, you feel about that? Probably shit. But I couldn't. I'm not a sofa. Like, like I'm not. I am not. I'm not one of you. Yeah. Well, listen, you say that and then you put us in some fucking <laughs> hellish places. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I apologise about Napier. I had no idea. There had was no... N- Listen, I'm not a snob. <laughs> this, no, I made two mistakes. Two yes, mistakes. You did. Napier and Blenheim. Because I was like, I'm going to ask this bitch if she's got any spare rooms in this place. Because <laughs> I don't mind. The, like, to <clears> me, <throat> the standard of the room, I don't give a fuck about. Yeah. I just want to be in it by myself. Yeah, I know. I get that. That's my thing. Right, I get you know because you're booking and that, so no, but I'm it, not it's gonna be like it's a it's a, a discount. It. It's it's next to the venue. Uh, it suited us well last year. We got fucked up in a bar. You go to bed, you wake up. Oh, you, it was you, fine. you know what I mean? Is and it was totally me and fine. Sean in the room yeah. didn't speak. It was uh, fine. But when, 
uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, do you know a fella had a room to himself? Blenheim was worse. That was worse. <laughs> I remember, like, <coughs> I, because we were all sitting in this room. That would never happen again. I went under on the bottom bank and I was looking at him and it was just a big fucking shame. And I was like, here. Because Sean had wandered away somewhere. It was yeah, me and Shane. Yeah, he's happy and on I a dirty Shane, pillow. I was like, Shane, here. I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. Earn, I earn six figures a year. I'm not fucking staying here. Wait, six figures a year? Oh, man. You're going to quit to do it's comedy? It's not that much. I know. It's just... I'd probably do, actually. Um <laughs> Nah. Let's read this one again. Watching your ass jiggle on that table will permanently scar me. I reckon it's everybody's favourite twat, Adam Levine. Oh, Adam Levine. Of course it is. Uh, there he is. There's oh, his fucking face. Oh, look at him there face. with his smug little face God, his little chain. He's up there with Coldplay for me. Everyone's no. like, isn't he sexy? I've never found him attractive. Oh, he's never given me a boner. No. I feel mad to do it in some filthy way, to feel your hot, lecherous lips sucking away at me, to fuck between your two rosy-tipped boobies, to come on your face and squirt it over your hot cheeks and your eyes, no bakaki glasses, no comer speck, to stick it up between the cheeks of your rump and bugger you. Do you know, if I had a penny for every time I've heard those words, yeah. You'd be fucking loaded, man. I'd have 26 pence. 26 pence? Yeah, I count them. Well, That's James Joyce. Of course it is, yeah. He's a dirty bastard. Fucking Adam Levine doesn't know what bracketing is. Our, our, our boobies. He's our boobies. Well, he's yeah. like... He's like... I want to... He's like that. What? <laughs> well, what's a booby, man? There he is. There's the, there's the dirty there bastard. There. Look at him there. Yeah, look at him. Look at him there, just thinking about fucking rosy, and rosy, rosy tinted cunts and all of that. Yeah, you yeah. Dirty, dirty bastard. James Joyce. James oh. Joyce. It is truly unreal how fucking hot you are. Like it blows my mind. That's like Adam Levine. Away. Yeah, with the, it blows with the my like. mind. It's the like. It's the like. Yeah, like it blows like, my mind. It blows my mind. Yeah. Fuck off, Adam oh, Levine. Yeah. I don't, think, I can't I don't, get, I don't want the songs in my head either I'm a baby that. shark in my head now because of Patch uh, I, may to, I may need to see the booty Now that could be a pirate uh, We don't know But there's one of the jokes you throw in every time Easy laugh I may, to, I may need to see the booty Baby shark da, 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 da. Levine It is Levine Fuck <sighs> people, people got that wrong I, I think that's the you, only one people got the wrong. One that, but I'll tell you why that's difficult. Do you want to know this? Go. It's difficult because it's short mm. and there's different contexts. Yeah. You could drag that out of and be like, yeah, but no, it's basic bitch yeah. Chad it's basic Adam Levine. stupid fucking prick face. Holy fuck. Holy fucking fuck. That body of yours is absurd. Of it's course. Levine. Is it? Uh, yes, of course it, it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. Look don't, at that. L- don't try to deceive me. Don't. What's a gaslight? Don't gaslight. Don't, gaslight. Me. don't trap me. We have an episode where I make questions for you. Yeah. I was thinking about this this week, actually. Yeah, absolutely. But I also can't be honest. <laughs> I know. It's too much effort. <laughs> That's the problem with the quiz. It's too much effort. With your slideshow. I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm a pro, man. It's crazy. A whorish movement okay, of your here we mouth. Go. Here we go. All right, a Joyce. See what you've got to say. A little brown stain on the seat of your white drawers. A sudden dirty word spluttered out by your wet lips. A sudden immodest noise made by your behind. And then a bad smell slowly curling up out of your back. That is my favourite Maroon 5 song. That's lovely. A little brown stain on the seat of your white drawers. Oh yeah. God, I hate him. <laughs> and me too. That's Mr. Joyce. Of course it is. He's a he's a dirty he's bastard. He's a classy man. He's a classy man. Fling you down under me on that soft belly of yours and fuck you up behind like a hog riding a sow. <laughs> See, you keep thinking you can fool me. Yeah. With your shorter sentences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's choice. Fuck off, is it? Of course it is. He knows about sell and a hog. I tell you what, if there's a one, uh, you look at his eyes. That is a man that has spent far too long watching a hog ride a sow. Yeah. 
if I gave you a bigger, stronger fuck than usual, fat, dirty farts came spluttering out of your backside. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> That's got to be Joyce. Because it it's got to be. He's got a fart fish. He's famously yeah. got a fart fish. Because if, if Adam Levine said that to somebody on social media, he'd be just he'd be ruined. Cancelled. Yeah, absolutely cancelled. Uh, he'd be gone. And you know what? Good riddance. Mm. Do we carry on with the next couple? Yeah, if I get my well. Okay. I've still got half a glass of half wine to finish. Aussie tennis prick Nick Kyrgios was caught doing what on camera? A wanking off a water bottle. Probably. Licking out a lemon. Probably. Rimming a Ribena oh, bottle. Oh, <laughs> probably all of those. Yeah. Uh, but I reckon fucking <laughs> licking out a lemon. Do you ever watch... Uh, I don't know. Do you ever watch Drunk History? No. Oh, Are we? Do, is that what we're doing? And I, it's, I feel like that's what it's turned into. Oh. It's comedians, they get drunk and then they have to tell a story. Oh. And then and then actors act out the stuff and it's really good. The English oh, one is great. The English one is amazing. The American one is okay. And when they're, when they're drunk and you're watching the actors, famous actors, act out the story that they're describing, which is mental, right? Because uh, they're pissed. And then all of a sudden the actors in the story so start you have like Maggie Smith. They're actually proper like actors, yeah. proper yeah. well, actors. Some, well, more comedians. And uh, oh, all of a sudden... That's like, his, I say, would want, like, Judy Dench yeah. acting it out, you know? Yeah. Judy like, Dench. Judy Dench looking at a lemon. <laughs> Judy Dench <laughs> on a fucking lemon. I have to do an accent. I have to do a What's Scottish that? accent. Yeah, your accent. Are you doing a Scottish accent? No, nah, I'm going to do Is me. that why I'm here, so you can absorb nah. it? The, the character is Scottish, but they said I can use my accent. Well, that would be weird. Yeah, I can't... Because you want to be relaxed in it. Instead of just going, what are you okay. saying? Hang on, okay. Okay. okay, okay. What are you saying? Pal? I am, I am blue. I am. Blue. Let's go. You know, you, is you that have to... your Scottish, is it? No, I don't have a Scottish. Try accent. it. Try it. Give me, give me your best Scottish accent. Say, eh, uh, I'll give you an easy one. What are you doing in my swamp? What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> I just got Billy Connolly. That's not bad though. That yeah, wasn't it's bad. Not, it's not, but it's not. It doesn't feel right. You know what it's I mean? Act, Alan. It it's is acting. Hack. It's acting. Yeah, I know. It's acting. Yeah, I know. But you doesn't know, feel right. Doesn't feel it's right. Weird. I want it to be natural. I'm natural. Is it organic. a good role? Is it? It looks like a fucking great role. It looks like a role I like. Uh, I sort of why. Like it looks like a role I like. Uh, anything. I'm terrible. Yeah, but you will get more. It'll start to happen oh, when you start terrible. doing audition. You have to. You have to wing it. Do an audition. I've done some. Then yeah, too. Then you do more than you go, oh, this is what terrible. I nah, I was yeah. terrible. Nah, it'll get better. I'm Licking you. out a lemon. Licking out a lemon. Of course it isn't. Oh. He's wanking off a water bottle. Is he? That's yeah, a really he small water bottle there, eh? What's well, he doing? Massive hands. He's Why does he look like that? Because he's got a weird... Oh, that yeah. was actually quite funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He was doing that for someone, I think. Yeah, the cameras. But does he have massive hands or is that a tiny water no, he's, bottle? No, he's got tiny hands. He's got one tiny hand, like Jeremy Beadle. Oh, he's Jeremy Beadle. He's Beadle's about... <laughs> Beat us about What's that joke about him? Bottle. What's that joke about him? Uh, give us a hand. I don't know. You know when he's uh, uh, when when Jeremy Beadle holds his cock, it's massive. But on the other hand, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. We you didn't write that, did you? No, we learned at school. It's I one like of them jokes that. from the. Yeah. That's good. <clears throat> what happened <clears throat> to Nancy Brophy, the author of How to Murder Your Husband? Straight to prison. A. She murdered her husband. Okay. B, she was wrongly accused of murdering her husband. Or she tried but failed to murder her husband. I don't know this story, so this is okay. <laughs> You're not supposed to know so everything. So she wrote a book, How to Murder Your Husband. Yeah, Nancy Brophy. And one on of Instagram. these three things is correct. Yes, why? Oh, I'm finished. Fuck Same. off. My bottle's done as well, look. God, this is the way we're doing podcasts in the uh, future. Listen, we need to do them late in the day, because I was going to do some stuff this afternoon. Now I'm not. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so Nancy Brophy, the author of How Nancy to Nancy Brophy. Nancy. Nancy Brophy. Mussas Brophy. Mussas Brophy. You fucking Nancy. That's not bad. That's not too that's bad. Not that's bad. not sorry. Right. She murdered. She murdered her husband. She murdered. Mur See, murdered. Look at you getting the tagger. Get the tagger in there. She murdered. There's been a murder. There's been a murder. <laughs> I love wine. What do you reckon it is? <laughs> <laughs> there's been a 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 
There's been a lot of murder. I reckon Nancy uh, was wrongly... All right, let's give Nancy the benefit of the doubt. She was wrongly accused of you murdering reckon? her husband. That sounds lovely. The book was so <clears throat> convincing... Yeah. That someone she, read it. Someone read it and went, this bitch tried to murder her husband. This is so good that she tried to murder her she husband. She must have tried to do she it. She must have fucking done it. Well, mm. how to murder your husband, Arthur... Is convicted for murdering her husband, you know and there what? she is. I no. cannot believe for one second, for one second, that I have not heard this story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and do you know and what? Now I want to read that book. Read the book. The world is fucked, man. There, being murdered, being convicted, yeah. of murdering. Oh, it's only a book. It's only a story. It's fiction. Is Jesus real or is he not real? Where's the baby Jesus with the beard? Okay. Next. How did she murder him? Uh, I don't know. It's a, not a Google story. Uh, <clears throat> I think the next one is the final question. We'll get a Wikipedia article go on her. Yeah. And the final question, the next one is the final question that we weren't even supposed to do until a few weeks. Well, but we're here, here now. And yet, here we are. Four hours. Uh, we've been this here. is five episodes. We've been here a while. Nah, it's not that long because we've just been here a long time, know, but there's yeah, lots yeah. of stuff that has to be cut out. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, ready for the final question? Mm-hmm. And you've been listening to us on iHeartRadio and we are a but bottle of wine. Wait, I haven't done that. I haven't done that yet. Hang on, let me do it. I'm just searching oh, yeah. Nancy Brophy so I can remember. Nancy Brophy. Oh, the murder of Daniel Brophy. As a trophy. You, oh, If you enjoy learning about murderers and headless sex dolls on a beach and the difference between Adam Levine and celebrated Irish novelist James Joyce, you should listen to The World is Absolutely Fucked. Absolutely. It's so fucked. It's really bad. Listen to us on, where are we? Uh, Eden Terrace, Auckland. No, no, don't give your address out. Uh, I Heart Radio. Yeah, Spotify. I Heart Radio. Uh, Apple, Apple Music. Apple Music. YouTube for the videos. YouTube for the young ones. Uh, Instagram for the reels. Instagram for all the reels. And wherever you get your shit, man. Wherever you find podcasts. Podcasts. And we will be drinking. And we're going to drink yeah. from now on. Yeah, because we've got, learned uh, our lesson. We've learned our lesson. We haven't told, we haven't finished well, one listen, story. We haven't made the podcast after this either. So we might, you might go back to edit and be like, what is this, this? is unusable. But at least we've had a good Sunday. I think I think it was a lovely catch up. I think it was. <laughs> think it has. It been. was more a lovely catch we've up. We've been here for hours, and I think we've got an hour and a half of usable oh. shit. <laughs>
Are you is ready a for the picture? I can't wait. Of course I'm excited. Fucking picture. <laughs> that is Tina Turner. If ever I've ever seen that. Not Bush City Limits, <laughs> by the way. That is 25 Rolling. was the speed limit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Look at that fucking mane. He looks stunning. Yeah, that's a gorgeous lion. Did you ever watch that show? It was like Beauty and the Beast and the fella looked like a lion. Lived in a tower somewhere. The one that lived in the sewers? Uh, sewers, maybe, yeah. I was getting Famous towers. actress that was in it, but I can't mind who she was. It was like the 90s. Yeah, it's a nice I watched one episode of it not that long ago on YouTube, and I can't remember why or, or how What's I found it, it. But I was like, this is great. And now I've just remembered about it. <laughs> because of the lion face. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. Any more pictures? There you oh, go. Oh, look at that. Look at him. Oh, he's lovely. That's gorgeous. He must uh, be roasting, though. If it's like he yeah. he's terrible. China, put some air conditioning yeah. in your zoos. This lion is clearly suffering, both aesthetically and physically. Yeah, it's too hot. No wonder your bats try to drown themselves in yeah, soup. Yeah, your bats try to drown themselves. And, and then kill the world. are all dead. And yeah, them. yeah, yeah. And then old people can't go to the shops. Yeah, and you can only have sons. Yeah, yeah, only have sons. Yeah. I don't think that's true anymore, though, is yeah, it? I don't know. Because I think they had like a whole generation of people where there was like, like way less women. Yeah. And they were like, this can't continue. How can we procreate? Yeah, there's only like kill all the there girls. are only two women. Yeah, <laughs> she is. She needs to come respect. I... That's what she. <laughs> That's what she needs. She will do. I. And that concludes episodes 11, 12, 13, 14, oh, 15, 16, and seventeen of the world is fucked, which you can get on all the places that you get stuff. All except the places. Except where? Tesco Online. Shop. You can't get it on Tesco Online? No, you can't. Uh, you can get booze and wear moustaches when they deliver. Uh, but uh, I think that's it. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening, everyone. And sorry. <laughs> A horish movement of your mouth. A little brown stain on the seat of your white drawers. A sudden dirty word spluttered out by your wet lips. A sudden immodest noise made by you behind. And then a bad smell slowly curling up out of your backside. And then a bad smell, no, slowly curling up out of your backside. <laughs>